All right, now that we're done with journalizing those closing entries, we are going to move on to posting those closing entries to the general ledger. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up my general journal. I'll go down to those closing entries and then open up my general ledger. And then we'll go ahead and post each of those. So remember, posting, it's going to work the same way as it did before with regular journal entries and adjusting entries. The only difference here is in the item column, we're going to put closing. All right, so the first one is fees earned. So let's go up to our fees earned account. 131, closing. We're still on the second page of the journal. And we just closed it for 11200 so we have a credit balance of 11,200, a debit balance of 11,200, which means that we have a zero balance in that account. And posted. All right, closed, zero, beautiful. Uh, salaries and wages expense. Closing, second page of the journal. We credited it for 270, so now it has a zero balance. Supplies expense second page of the journal. We credited it for 800, so now it has a zero balance. Rent expense, oops, I keep, oh, wait, wait, I'm lying, I'm lying. Let's go back up. Uh, salaries and wages expense, 511, and supplies expense, 512. All right, good. Keep me accountable, guys. All right, January 31st, closing entry, second page of the journal. We credited rent expense for 500, so it has a zero balance. Posted. Uh, telephone expense. That is a closing, second page of the journal. We credit it for 200, so it has a zero balance. All right. Advertising expense. Closing, second page of the journal. We credited it for 400, so it has a zero balance. 515. And appreciation expense. Closing, second page of the journal. We credit it for 100, so it has a zero balance. 518. And Jonathan Tinker Capital. Remember, this is the one that should not be closed, so we're going to update the balance here. 131, closing entry second page of the journal we credit it for 8930 so we had 15000 we just added 8930 to it so now we have 23930 posted all right on to the second closing entry this one is also to capital closing second page of the journal we debit it for 1000 so we had 23,930 and we just debited it for 1,000, which is going to decrease the balance, 22,930. And I hope that number looks familiar. We'll go ahead and look into it in a moment when we finish closing everything. And here's the drawing account. This is the one we are actually closing for this entry. We credited it for 1,000, which gives us a zero balance now that it is closed and posted. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and posted all of our closing entries, I just wanna look into one quick thing before we wrap it up. Um, I'm actually going to be going to our financial statements and I wanna move over to the adjusted, oops, sorry, not the adjusted, Whew. statement of owner's equity. So if we take a look at our statement of owner's equity, Notice that we had the 15,000 contribution, that's what the balance was. Then we increased it by 8,930 and decreased it by the 1,000 for withdrawals and that left us with a 22,930 balance. So you'll notice financial statements, they don't have debits and credits. So they're not actually increasing or decreasing the accounts or updating them like they should be. It is the closing entries that increases it. And here you can see now the ending balance in Jonathan Tinker's capital account is 22,930. So that's what we should be seeing there. All right, now that we are done with posting closing entries, we're on to our last step of the accounting cycle. We are going to create a post-closing trial balance. And I'm sure you already know where we're going with this. It's just a general trial balance. But um, let's go ahead and we'll go over that in the next video. I'll see you there.